Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today I'm working on a water source heat pump and we're going to be repairing a refrigerant leak. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. This is a R22 unit. As you can see we have a very low pressure. On my last visit I did find a leak and today we're going to be repairing it. We're going to start off by recovering our refrigerant. Our refrigerant is now recovered. We're going to take off our gauges. We're going to pull the pins, the Schrader valves, and we're just going to patch up that spot. This pin is buried in here. Never seen a pour like this before. This is the first time in about 11 years. So you can't actually pull this pin out. Just need a quick hit on this pipe. So we're gonna put a wet rag here and hope for the best and we'll do our leak check and we'll see what happens. There's a lot of oil stains here. So we're gonna wipe off all the oil so it don't catch fire and we're gonna have to get these wires out of the way took the wires off the compressor pretty much got everything out of the way cleaned up all the areas where there might have been some staining of oil so we don't catch fire and right here is the leak I'm just gonna sand down this area with a little sandpaper and then cover this area with a wet rag back here is a fireproof cloth it was just a bit risky it's a braze in the area where there's a lot of wires and sensitive electronics. So from here, we're gonna hit that spot and see what we can do. This area got a wet rag and hopefully it'll melt anything and we'll check everything with nitrogen. It's all right. You, you already patched it up? Mm-hmm. Patched it up? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. All right, so we hit that. We're gonna charge the system with nitrogen and check for leaks. We're gonna open that up. And we're gonna pressurize the system through the high side. And we're gonna check for leaks using our micro leak detector. This is a soap and bubble solution. All right, great. That spot is not leaking, but I do want to check these pins. Specifically this one. Just check around this pipe. Right now, everything's looking good. So we have no leaks from here. I'm putting my gauges back on. We're gonna dump the nitrogen and we're gonna start a vacuum. Got our gauges hooked up to the system. I did mount a vacuum gauge onto my manifold. Here's my vacuum pump. And let's start this up. I'm gonna wash our gauges. We're gonna get to 29.92 inches of mercury vacuum. We never really reach a full 30, but you will see it at the 30. I'm gonna turn on our vacuum gauge and see what kind of microns we read. See if there's any other leaks in here and yeah, should be all right. Typically anytime you open up the refrigerant circuit, you're gonna to wanna to change your filter dryer. It's so strange, but there is no filter dryer in this unit. I'm just gonna follow this circuit. So if we follow the pipes, now we go into the condenser from here. This is our water cooled condenser. 
and it comes out of the condenser. And right there, you see the small pipe? Move this out of the way. You follow that pipe up, that's our liquid line. And that goes right into the expansion valve. Out of the expansion valve, we have a distributor. Goes into the evaporator, out of the evaporator. Comes back to our suction and compressor. There is no filter dryer in here. I mean, comes in, comes out, and goes into the expansion valve. So your filter dryer will be on your liquid line. And there is none, so it is what it is. And I got the system running in the vacuum right now. And we're at 608 microns. We're moving about two microns a minute. So it is what it is. This will be a perfect time to take lunch and we'll be back. <laughs> We are below 500 microns. We're at 436. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna shut up the pump, see if it holds, and if it does, we're gonna charge the system up. The vacuum held, and I used a refrigerant scale, and I charged the system with the refrigerant. Took a look at the name tag, and if you read closely, it tells you the type of refrigerant, R22, and it has 47 ounces. I do have a video on how to charge a system using a scale. You will see a pop-up any moment and I will leave a link in the description. So the charge system up with refrigerant. And right now, we've got the system running. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see how it performs. All right, so it's 63 degrees in the room. Got the system operating. Temperature is pretty good. Have 102 degrees that is quite the TD from the room temperature and the supply pressure looks pretty good got about a 230 head with a 70 pound back heating mode for the heat pump R22 we charged by the ounce we put in exactly 47 ounces as the tag states and yeah, it's pretty good. From here, I'm just gonna wrap things up, but it looks good to me. Also, while I was here, I replaced the contactor as the points were pitted. So if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, 